How to make perfect Turkish coffee. What are the tips for making Turkish coffee? Turkish coffee is an important part of culture, dating back to ancient times. Actually it is a knowing journey that is easily shaped by its own vehicles and according to the prefence of the person making it. It is very rich in taste and is generally consumed by people by drinking slowly. It is brewed in a copper pot and can be sweetened with plain, sweet or medium sugar according to the preferences of the person. Turkish coffee is generally used powder-like state unless the person prefers it in the form of beans. It is preferred looking frothy. And if we talk about brewing, it takes a lot of time to get frothy form. It needs experience. Cups are preferred during the presentation. Although rare, some people prefer to use milk instead of water. For the presentation water and Turkish delight are preferred next cup of coffee which suits them very well. In terms of taste, it can be compared to espresso due to its intensity. So how is it done? Coffee is put into coffee pot with as many teaspoons as the number of people who will drink coffee. Water is added by measuring it with the coffee pot. Optionally sugar is desired to be discarded. For the sugary preference, a teaspoon of sugar is thrown as much as the number of people. For medium sugar, half the number of people is thrown sugar. The coffee is cooked until it boils. Now we can explain the most important point. After the coffee boils, the sesve is set aside and the foam on the top is divided into the cups, so you will have frothy coffee in every cup. Afterwards the coffees are distributed in the cups by leaving the lip part. Bon Appetit. You can write your opinions as a comment below. Please subscribe and click to like button.